What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today, a little bit more Dragon Ball Fighters. So, earlier this season, I put together videos on how to pick characters for certain slots, so how to pick a point character, how to pick a middle character, how and why you pick the anchor characters that you pick, but today we're going to put it all together, and we're going to talk about how to build a team around a character that you want to play. If you like the content I'm making, Please consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel. It'll help the channel out a lot and I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay, and with that, let's hop right into it. So one of the things about this game is that it is actually a three versus three game. So while you have people who could just play what's good together, which is of course very effective, you can also play what you want and protect that character or buff that character by picking characters that help them out. So if you have, and you probably do considering it's Dragon Ball, if you have a favorite character that you want to play, this is how you would build a team around them. So our goal is to have a nice, strong working team. So first, I'm going to pick my favorite character from Dragon Ball Z, Trunks, right? I love Trunks. I always try to play Trunks in every season. He's a fun character, interesting character of my play style. Everything in one package has a sword cool character for me now once you determine who's your favorite character who do you want to play specifically then we have to determine how flexible they are and what do i mean uh, what i mean is how much can they contribute to the team and how much can they receive from the team so in trunks's case for example uh, i played him season one and season two and season three traditionally he is not a flexible character before we only had one assist per character so between that and just like the way his combos worked, the way his mix-ups worked, he just couldn't work with a lot of characters despite him being very strong when you pair him with the right characters. But fortunately for us in Season 3, they gave everyone two new assists and now between system changes, uh, character changes they made to Trunks specifically and his new assists, he is way more flexible now. So the flexibility of a character will determine how many characters can you play with them. If a character is flexible, you can mostly pair them with any character. If a character is not flexible, that means you have to really specifically build a team around them. So for example, last season, an extremely flexible character was GT. GT basically could be put on any team because of his tools, what he gives to characters, and what he gets from other characters. Other Traditionally flexible characters would be characters like Bardock, Base Goku to a point, uh, both the Gohans, Kibu, and then less flexible characters would be characters like Ginyu, 21, Hit, Majin Buu, Android 18 before this patch. What you notice is that the characters that are flexible are kind of all-rounders or they have some type of either thing they contribute in neutral or they can use any character to support them while the less flexible characters they have either really specific game plans that you have to build around like uh, Ginyu and Majin Buu or at least prior because of their assists you had to make sure you really supported them or you only could play them in run role or something like that. So with that in mind we're going to actually build uh, two teams here. We'll build a Ginyu team and we'll build a Trunks team. Ginyu is way less flexible than Trunks uh, all things considered because of his playstyle. Trunks since he's flexible, we we can mostly pick anyone with him at this point uh, because he could support many playstyles. So for example, if you wanted to play like a super rushdown heavy team, for example, around him, you could play like base Vegeta, Trunks, and Bardock. And you could do it in, let's say, this order. I see this order pretty often and give Bardock the mix-up assist for base Vegeta and then you could play whatever you want with Trunks. You could do change the future if you want, you could do beam if you want, it's up to you. Uh, both would work in this case. Since he has a blast assist, uh, which we talked about yesterday, so it advances forward and hits in the air, he can help with anti-airs and stuff, but base Vegeta has an anti-air assist so you could choose to play Masenko, and then you'd have a nice high blocks and assist here, it's like 30 frames. You have the guaranteed mix-up assist with Bardock's B assist, and you have your anti-air assist with base Vegeta, and you have a cool team that's good that works with Trunks. Very easy. You can, you can even put him on teams that are less flexible. So in the case where, like, let's say you want to play Beerus, and he's a neutral control kind of character, and these type of characters really like beams, you could still play Trunks because he has a beam. Uh, if you wanted to play Piccolo, Piccolo likes beams, you could still play Trunks because he has a beam. The only downside would be uh, you can't really do mix-ups with Piccolo's A assist, and I think uh, that assist is really important. 
So since Trunks has these two assists, and I mean he has his third assist too, the blocks and assist, uh, if you want to use that, but usually the beam is enough in this case that it'll work fine. You can basically pair him with any character in this patch. So next we can talk about a less flexible character. So Captain Ginyu, as I said, so after Evo and the first season of Dragon Ball, I switched to him. I played him for a long time. He summons the Ginyu Force. It's a pretty unique playstyle in this game. And there's not that much you could do with him, especially as they like change a couple of assists. So basically you only play Ginyu with two types of assists, either high blocks and assist, like a uh, old 16. So the replacement I would say would be like a Bardock B or something like that, or beams for screen control. Beams are pretty much the best things he's got. So if you, if you were to pick him, you're pretty much locked to GT and then you have to pick a second beam. So whatever, beam you want to play like you can play Yamcha if you want you can play Trunks if you want you can play a C assist like uh like Gotenks or Super Broly there's a few options out here for you but uh he pretty much needs this to support his style of neutral this is what I mean by he's less flexible there's way less characters you could play him with despite him still being like a solid character like you can't play him with 21 per se you can't really play him with Frieza like the clear best option for him would be to play two beams because he needs the extra support okay so hopefully those examples made sense to you uh it, i hope it also shows you why teams that are built exist the way they do if that makes sense so a lot of the meta teams especially in like season two relied a lot on like flexible characters the flexible characters in this game are I'm not going to say they're always stronger, but they're generally pretty strong, mostly because they can go with anybody. Think about Bardock before, think about GT before, even think about SSJ Goku before. SSJ Goku, part of his thing was that he supported basically all the characters in the game, so it was worth playing him. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.